this is how I came up with the analogy. Look at the red sky. Look at the red sky. So you see the red sky at sunset. And that's because uh, Nibiru is throwing off red iron oxide. Okay, so you get this planet out there throwing off red iron oxide. And then basically you get the planet that's out there flying around. And so here's the planet. It's out there flying around. Every single day this planet is out there flying around. You add the red, you add the planet, you know, at sunrise and sunset, and then you add the solar eclipse. What do you got? Because sunrise is still kind of dark, you know, when it's rising up, and then sunset is going dark. And that's when this thing emerges, you know. And so, some point when the moon is eclipsing the sun, you know, and this thing is traveling, you are going to, or you should, if, if you don't see this, God himself blocked it out. God himself, and I ain't saying everybody's going to see it everywhere. Maybe some people will see it, but I'm kind of leaning towards God is going to show everybody this thing uh, on the 17th, I mean on the 21st, you know, on Monday. So, it's out there. And then I said again, I'm not using any mysticism. I don't get my information from nowhere else. I'm just getting my information from the spirit and common sense. Common sense is saying if it's a, a red fiery planet, uh, you know, circling the sun, following the sun's orbit, you know, and then you have nighttime, then it should be visible. And then if you got red skies, then the moon should turn red. Not saying that it is, it just seemed like it's highly plausible. Now, you tell me what happens when everybody is watching this thing during a solar eclipse. See, either two things is going to happen. They're going to cause some big nuclear war or some problem to happen in the world. So, people's mind won't be focused on this. But, if they're going to allow everyone to see this, then uh, basically either they're gonna cause some problem to happen where you're not really focused on this, you're focusing on the problem that they cause, the mayhem. And then just say, if they do nothing and everybody's seeing this thing fiery burn up in the sky, then people is gonna ask questions. And then people like me already got videos out there that says, okay, this is Nibiru. And basically this thing, you know, is going to tell that this thing is going to hit our problem our, our planet and this thing mass hysteria because everyone knows now things could ch turn around and change uh very drastically very quickly and and that is because you know uh reality is setting in now most people they living in a fantasy dreamland they they, they overtaken by demons and so they don't see this stuff man and then the people that ain't overtaken by demons, we see it. And basically we're warning them. And just like if you warn an idiot, you're you're crazy in the idiot's eye. It's not them. They know exactly what they're doing. They're having fun. You know. And then you get people like Pastor Dow that said, Oh, everybody close your eyes and be blind and stuff like this. Nothing is happening. Same thing is gonna happen uh you know, today is gonna happen tomorrow and it's, it's gonna keep on you know, life is gonna continue like it's it's been, you know, it's, that's, it's a bullshit ass lie. And life is not going to continue like it is. The whole world will change overnight when people understand what this is. And when people understand how close this is and that this tail is going to hit us, you know, and it's a million mile long tail pretty much with a trillion meteorites and dust and particles and all in that. You know, it's gonna choke us to damn death. Uh, it's, it, it should be mass hysteria. Suicide should increase. Lord knows what's gonna happen. You know, it ain't nowhere to hide from this thing. It's gonna hit worldwide. You guys tell me what y'all think. And I ain't saying nothing is gonna happen on the 21st. I ain't saying we're gonna see it. Neither am I saying anything is gonna happen in September. But. I don't know, it's looking very promising. Wrap the news.